All right, Nate. What's going Good on? to see you, man. Good to see you. I'll tell you what. I said to Joe Williamson today, I go, man, did you see all those cars over there? Yeah, And like he was like, in the parking lot? I go, no. I said, all those cars sitting at that table. How many cars were here for, for David's attempt at a sport title? I got three uncles came, two cousins, myself, my dad, and then David. So there was like seven of us. So those are it's a lot of cars. A lot of cars. A lot of cars. Um, and then where is your dad in the order? He's the 11th son. He's the 11th of the 16. How yeah. many of them are like still around or even? So I know Jimmy passed away. A Jimmy years passed ago. away. So we Jimmy had, was the youngest U.S. Olympian. Yes. Yep. Incredible. 16. 16 year old U.S. Olympian. He's on Gable's team, so that's pretty exciting. That's pretty cool. amazing. So, so, so the, there's him. Where is he from, Jimmy? Jimmy is a. He's right after Jimmy. Right so after. after. So, so, so you're a year younger. Three years, probably yeah. three, four years. So, uh, Uncle Solomon's here, and then I got Uncle Michael, my Uncle Fletcher, my Uncle Joe. And then my dad and Jimmy, they were all Americans. So we have the most all Americans in NCAA right now with five for, for one family. That's, so that's NCAA record. So it's pretty cool. Um, and they all come support. They like to see David Russell trying to win his fourth state title. So that's pretty awesome achievement. So they all drove up. Really excited to see them do it. So. Are they Erie, West Virginia? Where are they? Kentucky, Baltimore, Maryland. All around. PA. You guys are Erie. from Erie, though. They're from, from, from Erie. Erie. From Erie, yeah. So, okay, you just told me a funny story. I wonder if it was funny. But it was a story nonetheless. Georgia State Championships. Georgia State Championships. You didn't win it once. I, I won it three times. Didn't win it my freshman year. Freshman year, year right? Peter lost the state semifinals. Bronchitis got me. I lost to a senior. Got def- defensive fall. You got default. Right on my head. Really? It was not You're a sick good day. too, though. It was, yeah, it was sick. Did you get better from it? Got better from it. So you look at David, and David's just, he's incredible, man. He's probably the best guy at the tournament. I don't know if anybody's really going to argue with me. He moves so incredibly well. He's going to Iowa State. Big this time. guy's got a huge future in front of him. What's it like being his older brother? And, and, and what's it like seeing him develop as he has? It's exciting, man. I, I can't wait for him to get on the, the college. I think he's he's at the point where in high school, he's got it figured out, right? So now the next challenge, the next level, which is being a national champion or wrestling with guys like Jason Nolf and, and Kemmer and, and Heidley and seeing where he's at. And I think he'll get opportunity next year, which is really exciting for him. I'm going to be – can't wait to see some of those matchups for him next year. And we'll see how he does. Either he'll he'll be right there or he's going to have some work to do. So that's – it's exciting for him and exciting for, him, for me to watch, you know. Family's obviously a huge part of your life, but let's talk about something else that's a huge part of your life as I pan down here. Oh. We got the Haven, man. Oh, yeah. Just hopefully hot the, the presses. Hopefully there's a double X somewhere waiting for me I got in Cleveland. You. Hopefully. I, I but, got you. Know, you. If it doesn't happen, I understand. But <laughs> what an incredible performance last week, man. Thank you. Clucker. Wow. Let's talk momentum. Wow. Clucker comes wow. out and just rolls uh, Shomers up. Yep. Just rolls them up in the first period, minute, minute in, I think. Sure, yeah. So yeah. what do you think that does? How much momentum did that build for Lock Haven? big. Week? It's a kid that took eighth in the state in PIAAs, right? And a kid that, that worked hard, got hurt, and just a good story. Good kid, always saying yes, sir, always doing whatever you ask of him. And to have a moment like that is just so big. That's why, that's why I love to coach. That's why I love to coach, to see moments like that. And that was just awesome for him. He's fired up. He's excited for nationals. Eighth in the state. I mean, what a story. So uh, the momentum was huge because he's one of those kids that everybody loves on the team. And he's someone that you want him to win. You want him to have moments like that. So that was huge for him. And I, we were, we were kind of quiet. We were, we were just we were staying humbled. We knew it was a close score. We knew that pin was big. Then we had Tristan Sponsor, who wrestled the Edinburgh kid. He wins that against Edinburgh. Um, we knew we had nine guys going in the placement round. They only had seven. So we were kind of doing the numbers. And at the end of the day, um, we got it done. Clucker was huge. Spawn Seller, those guys helped out big for us to uh, get it done for the first time since 1997. So really excited for the program. Two guys. transfers come yep. in. Two best guys, in my opinion. Yep. But, I mean, look at the level of, of shoot. Yes. Look, the guy tech falls everybody. He's leading the NCAA in tech falls. How okay. about it? Ronnie Perry, he tech falls a lot of guys. Yeah. This style that you guys wrestle is just like, it's crazy. It's a lot of points. Yes. It's exciting. I like it, right? Yeah, we're People excited. like it. What was it like bringing those guys in and then giving them a, pull, a, a buy-in to Lock Haven? I think Coach Moore did a really good job of just, hey, you're going to work really hard. You're at Blue Collar School. You're the underdog, all right? Figure out what makes you great and then just go get it, you know? And I think these guys are really good on top. Kyle Shoup, he wants to get on top. He wants to get the first takedown and get on top. And, uh, that's his goal, and he, he goes for it 100%. And um, right now with the four-point near fall, I mean, 
you get on the back, it's I mean you're up 8-0, you don't even you didn't even do anything. You feel like so uh, it's big for our program. We're good on top. We're fighting for all positions, and I think that's kind of separates us from other programs. And that's we're excited for nationals. We got some good draws. We're excited to see what happens. Chance didn't look like himself. The EWL. A little sick, a little sick, but he's he's rolling good. I wrestled him yesterday, man. Dude, he's <laughs> he's motivated. So. Looks strong. Yeah, he's motivated. <laughs> gonna be, I think it'll be a different different chance, Marsteller uh, at the NCAAs. So uh, feeling better, fluids, just getting some rest, a couple days off, ice bath, just recovering, getting his mind and body ready. He felt like a hammer yesterday, so he's gonna be a scary dude come three days, four days. So. I like his draw too. Yeah, too. Probably gonna see a Rogers matchup and then potentially an Imar matchup. That's gonna be exciting. I know what you guys live for that. Exciting. And we're the underdogs. That we're the bad draw, right? We want to go out. It doesn't matter who we're gonna wrestle. We're always gonna be an underdog. You just gotta go out there and take it. That's what night nationals is about. Your mindset, and I think we're all gonna have a mindset. We got six guys going. Really excited for the program, and uh, we're on this high right now, right? With the conference, you're just I mean you're rolling. Just go in there and win some matches and see where you see what happens, you know. All right, I gotta get motivated now because I gotta go find your dad. And he fires me up. He's a man. I get so fired up by your dad. He's a man. So. All right, you got anything else for me? Um, the rise is coming. We're March ready. Uh, thank you to all Lock Haven Wrestling fans, and supporters. We'll see you at nationals. I'll see you at nationals with that two X.